Greetings. As I mentioned in the finale for the Odysseus build, I've got about a month before the start of the Big Spring Contest over at ScaleModelAddict.com. So, I've got time for at least one more build. I want to keep it simple. So, I'm going back to a very old kit in the stash. The old Sequest DSV Stinger. This is the one-man pursuit submarine from the Sequest DSV series. Copyright on this thing is 1994. And it actually shows its age in a couple of very key areas, namely the raised panel lines, which I may or may not decide to do anything about this time around. Given my tendency to not do a lot of rescribing, I'm probably going to leave it with the raised panel lines. Looks like I am going to have to go remove at least one copyright, though, from the uh, one of the fins. It's a fairly simple kit. I helped a roommate with it for with it uh, <laughs> several years ago. Cockpit's actually got some good size detail. The kit is said to be at one twentieth scale. Here's your figure. My big complaint with the figure is is not really complete. Of course, this thing being as big as it is, I may actually go grab one of my action figures and stick it in the cockpit. We'll play that by ear when I get to it. One piece canopy covers the whole, um, pretty much the whole fuselage. Well, whole cockpit tub anyway. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't worry too much about getting it all back in the box. The instructions are pretty straightforward especially considering the age of the kit. I'm probably, given the age of the kit and my lack of memory of the thing being being what it is, I'm probably going to do my own color schemes. And like I said, I'm probably going to replace the kit figure. But the kit itself should look pretty sharp when it's done. Have to play with it a little, and we'll see how things go. Okay, time for first progress update on the Stinger. Got the cockpit tub primer coated. Then I had to go in and make modification for my new pilot by moving back what would be the rudder pedals. I'm not too worried about the holes it's showing because once her feet are in place, they'll uh, be hidden by her feet. Got the main body glued together, touched up the seam along the middle. Have to be careful because of the raised panel lines, but I got the worst of it knocked down. Also got the just a bit of gray primer to the inside of the fuselage that will be visible once the cockpit tub's in place. Now, as to the subject of the pilot. That's the body of the pilot that came with the uh, model. My big complaint was uh, he's not complete. Didn't really like the way he was looking anyway. So what I did is I took a Marvel Universe Kitty Pride action figure, which is actually about 1 18th scale, coupled with the head of a Marvel Universe Black Widow. That, as you can see, I gave a bob haircut. I actually trimmed her neck too short so I've got to go in now. I've got it pinned, but I'll go in and fill that. 
had to cut the legs down. They actually took, wound up taking about eighths of an, an eighth of an inch out of each leg. It was still too short, which is why I made the modification to the cockpit tub. As you can see, if Ms. Pride will cooperate, she sits in there pretty good. I've already done a quick test fit with the control. Her hand will fit the control just fine, and her head will clear the uh, her head will clear the canopy. Obviously, her suit's going to get repainted, but. That, at the moment, is where we are sitting. This one's proving to be every bit as quick a build as last one I was working on, build-wise. Although this one won't have the Odysseus uh, decal issue. All right. Where we sit at the moment... Pilot's been reassembled. Her neck was filled in with uh, Aves Epoxy Sculpt. Whole body was given a coat of gray primer. Truth be told, I'm probably going to leave it just like that. I may go back in and use some of the kit decals for like emblems and that. The control stick. I painted the top inserts in red. The handles in black and then gave the whole thing a black wash for detail. To match up with the cockpit, the seat was done in red. The side panels were painted in, in yellow and then went in and picked out all the buttons and the combinations of yellow, red, and green. whole thing was given a black wash. Then I went in and hopefully this will turn out later. It probably won't show up in any of the photos I take, though. I went in with glow-in-the-dark paint and repainted all of and painted over all of the buttons. Basic construction. I mean, obviously the canopy is not on at the moment, but basic construction is basically done. I'll put the nozzles in place after I get the body painted. The Headlights were painted in with uh, gray primer and silver for the casing. And then the actual headlight itself was painted in with the glow-in-the-dark paint. The interior, the areas that would actually show, were painted in with the light gray primer and given the same black wash as the interior. At this point, the biggest thing I have left to do is mask the canopy, which... I'll do in a little bit, and then we'll shoot some uh, primer and color on this one. This one that might help if I was actually on frame. Uh, this one's going pretty quick, too. Although, at this point, we'll see if I try to cram anything else in. Uh, stay tuned for the next update on this one. All right. Apologize for being just a fraction darker here. I'm trying to reduce glare on the uh, canopy. But I'm trying to do that because we're done. What we've got here. Yeah, I may kill, may bring some extra light up anyway. There we go. After some paint, we have our completed stinger. The colors are definitely not what they would have used on Sequest, but they were kind of my choice for something a little different. The underbelly is the tester's gold lacquer. The steel thruster boards are, of course, the graphite dust lacquer that I use for just about anything. 
had some bubbling on it, but I think that's because I shot it straight over the plastic. The top is the Tester's Purplicious Lacquer, which I sprayed over a coat. Basically, I did the, the whole sub in the gold color. And then with Rattle Can, believe it or not, went in and did the top coat in the Purplicious. The framework on the canopy was masked and there was some leakage, but I'm not that worried about it. This was more just a project to have some fun with, hence the use of the action figure in the cockpit. Yeah, it's not going to kill enough of the glare. Hopefully you can see some of the detail in the cockpit. All in all, I'm actually very happy with how it turned out. The seam down the middle fits as a fuselage seam, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I've done nothing with the base. As my usual want, I'll stick some stills at the end of this, which will hopefully show off some of the detail a little better. But uh, it was a quick, fun build. Let's face it, the kit was no masterpiece back when it was produced 20 years ago. But it still holds up fairly well. I want to thank you all for watching. And I guess we'll have to see what's coming up next.